Which AIO is best? Well, two companies sent me two entirely different AIOs. I tested both of them on a 64 core Threadripper 9980X. One of them greatly outperformed the other. Type in the comments if you know which one. If you've been watching my review videos of the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 9000 CPUs, you've noticed that I've been using this AIO by Silverstone. It is specifically for Threadripper. And I was very impressed by its performance overall and very easy installation. It's just literally these four screws. That's basically it. The fans are very industrial and they had a bit of noise to them, but I was overall very happy with the performance. And the pump is inside of the radiator. You don't see that often. It was sent to me in this no frills box in case people are wondering. And then the box with the frills was the Be Quiet Silent Loop 3. This is a 420 millimeter AIO. Obviously this one is a 360. And I was, you know, a little bit skeptical because, you know, this is so industrial and this is more kind of consumer friendly, right? But it has RGB, so yes, it greatly outperformed the industrial looking AIO by Silverstone. And here's the setup right now. So this is the new build, I call it Deep Blue, and it does have the Threadripper 9980X in it, along with a 5090. And let me show you the temperatures. I took the glass off so you can see it a little bit better. The PC case is by Be Quiet. This is the Light Base 900FX. And the Silent Loop 3, is a 420 millimeter AIO that fits perfectly right up top. And on full load, this AIO has been very quiet, especially compared to the Silverstone. And when this 64 core Threadripper is on full load, it's barely hitting 60 degrees Celsius. And if you scroll back to my previous videos of benchmarking the Threadripper 9980X on the Silverstone, it hit 69 giggity degrees on a regular basis. So special shout out goes out to Be Quiet for making a very impressive AIO. The Silent Loop 3, yeah, thumbs up. Focus, man, focus. Oh, darn it.